thank uh, thank you, Brother Paul. I was asked to make sure that I speak into the microphone, but my voice is so heavy, I might not need to speak get too close. But uh, I am happy to be here, and two things I will be doing is first is a, a invocation in honor of this auspicious gathering and occasion. And then following that, if I may, uh, I would like to share some words that were put into my spirit and I hope and pray that these words will be of uh, on this day where there are so many emotions, actions taking place, it will be a source of comfort. First, I would ask that if you are able to those of us who are sitting, can we please rise to our feet? If you cannot, you can just stay seated where you are. And at this time, we give thanks for all who have come together to both celebrate and recognize the worth and value of all people. And not just a select group or those whose values are focused on fame and material gain and personal power. As we gather for the close of this great event, may we all never forget that true power does not rest in the hands of self-serving governing bodies, but in the courageous force of the diverse people of this country called America. And so may America use her blessings wisely and well. May our strength be always on the side of justice. May our leaders have enough courage to seek peace. May those in power not quickly slam doors shut of respect for all people. May all who seek citizenship be ever welcome here in this country and may our government act with soundness of judgment may those who we have now who have now been entrusted to lead this nation never forget who it is they are supposed to serve Bless America this day and every day with greatness and strength and courage. We, each of us, of all races and backgrounds, of all origins, are the true guardians of America's fate and future. We, the diverse people, are the greatest strength of America. So let us bless this day and let us forever and always advocate for freedom, justice, and peace. Amen. Amen. Today we come together many miles from the festivities going on in the nation's capital to affirm right here in the city of Gainesville the worth and dignity of all the people and to issue a call for justice, a call for respect, a call for tolerance, as well as an end to words and actions that promote division, hatred, bigotry, violence, and disrespect. Yeah. Yeah. In the year 2016 just ended, we were witnesses to events in 
situations that were not in the spirit of the peace we seek, the unity we need, or the respect we deserve, and diverse people of the United States of America, and we gather here on this day of change to say no more. We have seen we have seen ugly and deliberate hostility displayed against others just because of weak leadership that promotes wrongs instead of advocating for rights. And we gather here on this day to say no more. We have seen blatant lies and, and, and mistaking of the facts for personal gain and with the intent to shame, embarrass, and bring dishonor to good and decent people of this nation. And we come today on this day to say no more. And on this day, in the light of the transfer of power in the nation's capital, must now we must now, more than ever, take a firm stand against all of those wrong attitudes, all of those wrong actions, all of those wrong behaviors that threaten to horribly tear the fabric of peace and equality and be willing to step out of the shadows of fear and be bold and courageous and declare to all who will hear no more. We must have a fierce determination and speak when we need to speak, protest when protesting is called for, vote when we need to vote, and act with dignity and nonviolence whenever action is quiet. Lastly, you and I, no matter how hard a challenge it is, it may seem, we must be willing to go to the big mountain of equality and justice. And once we get there, we must then be willing to then climb up the mountain. And once we begin climbing up the mountain, as hard as it may be, we must declare that we are not going to be pushed back down the mountainside until our work is done. Yeah. And we are we are not going to back down. We are not going back down to the valley of hate. We are not going back down to the valley of racism. We are not going back down to the valley of intolerance, no matter who is sitting on the throne of power. We are not going back down the mountain. But we're going to keep on climbing until we get justice, until we get equality, until we get the respect that we deserve. And so we're saying no more. We have been in the valley too long now. And we are going to come out, Mr. President. We are going to the mountain top because what we need, want, and deserve can only be found at the mountain top. We will keep climbing. Mr. President, because others who cannot climb are depending on us to climb in their place. We keep climbing because, as Dr. King said, the arc of the moral universe is long, but it still bends toward justice. We keep, we keep climbing to show the world, Mr. President, that no matter what happens, in the next four years, we are not a, we are not about to turn around. There's been too much happening for us to give up now. And as I close, I remind all who are here, who might be discouraged in your heart, who might be discouraged in your mind at what's taking place. Many of you were not alive when the king gave the speech when at the final march to the seat of power of Selma, Alabama on March 25th, 1965. Here are the words of this great man. I know you are asking today, how long will it take? Somebody's asking, how long will prejudice blind the visions of men? I come to say to you this afternoon, however 
difficult at the moment. However, frustrating the hour, it will not be long, because truth across the earth will rise again. How long? Not long. Because you, because no lie can live forever. How long? Not long. Because you shall reap what you sow. How long? Not long. Truth forever on the scaffold. Wrong forever on the throne. Yet that scaffold sways the future. And behind the dim unknown stands God within the shadow, keeping watch above his own. And so, my friends, we, you and I, we are their own if we band together and work together and pray together, if we walk and march together and be united as one nation, we will be able to put the forces of evil and division, malice and unprovoked hate, and senseless violence on our feet. And when we stand together and declare and affirm our right to live and work in this nation without being hindered, without being harassed, without being profiled, without being targeted, without being disrespected for our choice of clothes, or because of the language we speak, or who and where we choose to worship, or who we choose to love or associate with, or because of the color of our skin, or the neighborhood we live, or educational background, or how much money we have, we will send a loud and clear message to the powers that are in place whose intentions are not honest or honorable. That no matter what, who, where, when, how, or why, we who make the city, state, and nation our home are here to stay and our voices will never be silenced or cur our courage will never be weakened and our presence will never diminish. Not, listen, not today, not tomorrow, and not ever. Yeah!